Hi, uh, welcome all of you. Nana here, and then uh, we are going to see the ship set problem. I have identified the problem, so I'm now going to uh, show you what how to do the ship set actually. So before I go on and do the ship set, uh, what I will do is I will now open up a simple sales order. Go to this place, <laughs> and then I go to the what's called manage orders. Let me create an order. Click on create an order. I will now put this one T one my customer. So here I will now go there. I will now put up the warranty item over here. This is the warranty. It's an extended warranty. One T one seventeen is an extended warranty. One T one seventeen. So just to show you that it will never be interface to shipping, it will be going to billing directly. So let me submit the sales order. The order is now submitted. <clears throat> this is the order number five seven. Then we'll now go there. Switch to fulfillment view now. Switch to fulfillment view. You know how I look at it now. For the fulfillment drawings, it will not be interface to shipping at all. So click on the do number over here. And then look at the orchestration. It is not scheduled. I enter for shit. <coughs> so click on the file also. Reservation is not applicable. And scheduling is not applicable. And nothing is applicable because it is not going to be shipped from any of those things. So item is not having a shippable on. So go there. So it will now directly go for the invoicing. So invoicing is about to start. Management is also not applicable. Go there now. Uh, it will say invoice has started. So it will now directly be interfaced to AR actually. <clears throat> it will now go to a wedding billing. Now, what I'm going to do now, it has gone to a wedding billing. I will now create a sales order where I will now have a desktop and mouse. I will be having a keyboard and mouse. Uh, a desktop and monitor. I will be having a keyboard and mouse. <clears throat> Okay, fine. So, and then afterwards, I will now add the extended warranty. I will now club all these things with your ship selector. I will now club all these things with your ship selector. Click on the moment. Now, see what how it's going to work. <clears throat> so, let's now create a new sales order. So, click on create order. Go there. The one I will now put the customer over here. So, first of all, I will now put the what's called the desktop amount. That is a 1T119. $21.19. I will now go for two quantities on this now. Thank you, Connor. <clears throat> then one T one twenty. One T one twenty. I will now go for two quantities. So click on that. And then I will now add the warranty. Extension, extension, extended warranty is one T one seventy. One T one seventy is the one. There's an extended warranty. I will now go for two quantities again because there's a two sets actually. Now I'm going to put all of them onto your ship set. I'm not going to put all of them on ship set. So oh, the first thing which you have to do on this place is what you go to the header level. There here, what happens? Is ship lines together. You have to make it as yes. That was the problem. Right? So otherwise, what happens if you go there and then the header level? If you don't make it, if you go there, click on it, and then you go there, click on override order line, and then here ship set. If you drop down, <coughs> only create is coming. Nothing else is coming mainly because the ship set, yeah, ship lines together is not there at all. That is why only credit is coming. So that was the issue. You can see. So first of all, in the header level, what happens? You now say ship lines together is yes. Now you go there, click on it, click on create override, and then if you drop down, see one default is coming automatically here. Now we'll now ignore the default and then go to the create. So let me go there and then get the ship set SS1. <coughs> So click on OK. So it is now added to the ship set. And click on OK. So it is now added to the ship. It now, a ship set is created for the first line. For the second line, if you go there, we can very well add it to the existing ship set. And click on it. And since ship lines together is coming, and drop it down. You will now find the SS1 coming out. So click on OK. And then go down. And then I'll go to the last line. That is the extended warranty, which is only a billable line. Go there, click on it. I will not drop it down. I don't put the SS1 over here now. Click on it. Now, all the three lines are clubbed together in one ship set actually. So you go there, click on save, and then we'll now submit the sales order. So we'll now note down the sales order number. <clears throat> so we are now submitting it. Uh, 
off. So everything is on. And then just make a check now. Right? So yeah, click on over right line and then see whether it is no SS1, SS there. Cancel. So go there. You will now submit the sales order. <coughs> You know, 97528 is the order number. Click on it. Now, we will know uh, if you are not, what happens, honoring the ship set, please uh, do not ship at all. Find that you are going to set it up. So, where are you going to set up? You go there, click on it. You will be doing it. And go to the setup and maintenance. <coughs> and then go there, click on it. I will go to the search. Manage shipping parameters. Manage shipping parameters. <clears throat> you go to the manage shipping parameters for the 1T1 org. So with the 1T1 org, the one. So you go there. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to uh, do the thing on the ship set information, ship set behavior, and drop it down. And then I will not say it's the error. If the ship set is not honored, what happens? It will be landing up on an error. Ship set behavior is error. Not honored. So ship set behavior is error. Save and close. Uh, or uh, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, classes. So click on save and close. Right? It is now going to be error. Now it is not done. Now it will go to the shipping. And then now if you go and then see the manage orders and then click on actions. What is this to fill in view? There would have been interface to shipping execution, all the three lines. So all of them are having a common do number now. Click on the do number line and see that it is now awaiting shipping. Right? So it is now awaiting shipping. If you give it then now, right? Now here you can see in the last line, find the extended warranty, find that point. So the extended warranty is not started at all. First two lines are awaiting shipping. Now you go to this place and then here. Uh, we click on it. We'll now go to what? We'll go to this place. I will now go to the supply chain execution. Supply chain execution. And I go to the inventory management. We'll go to the inventory management. And then we'll now go to the shipments line. So go to the shipments now. Click on the shipments. And then here, go to the manage shipment lines. And then here, the number is what? 97528. Nine seven five two eight. Sometimes, sometimes if you search for it, it will be coming. Actually, it's, it is coming. So only two lines are shippable. Actually, the other warranty is not shippable, so it's not coming. So I will not select the first line. I will now auto create a shipment for the line. So let me try to ship it. Okay. So I will now go there. So go there to point. Rather, uh, what I will do is I will now remove the ship. Uh, remove unassigned the shipment. Unassigned from shipment. Shipment line go. So I will now select both the lines and then I will now launch the pick release. I will now order grade shipment for both the lines, only one now. So let us now pick me, pick it up first of all. We'll now go on and pick it up. We'll now launch the pick release and then bring it to the stage now. So go to the actions and then go to the pick release now. Fine. We are going to make it a staged. So it's not done. So it is now getting staged actually. It is now getting staged. So go there. Now I will now unassign one of the numbers and then I'm now going to ship only one. So here, click on search and find. It will be staged. Now, let us know, unassign it. Find this number, I will not unassign. Unassign from shipment. So that means what? The shipper number has got only one line. If you try to ship confirm, it will not allow you at all because the ship set is now enforced and then we are having an error message. Go there, click on ship confirmation. Now it will not end up in an error actually. This error. The ship confirm request failed because there are errors in the shipment. You cannot confirm the shipment because one or more more shipment lines is in the shipment are incomplete actually. That's what it's like. It's not exactly giving you the reason, but because they belong to one ship set actually. So we cannot do it now. So if you go and then try to ship only what? If you try to go and then ship only desktop and monitor without a keyboard and mouse, what the end customer can do? He can only do a ching chong bhajanai. Nothing he can do now without this. So that's why you club together and then sell it together. Fine. Only if this is no manufacturer, it will not take another two more days, two more days time to manufacture. You have to wait for it and then only ship together. So this way it works now. Fine. Now go there, click on it. So that is why it is not working at all. No, I will not give a cancel now. Fine. So it is not ship confirmed at all. Now I will not add it to the ship set. Select it and then add to ship one now. So the same ship one I'm adding it now. Fine. One, 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 eight. So 10, 11, 98 is now going to be added for the second line also. Fine. 
click on it and then uh, go and then search for it. 10, 11, 98 is the one. Ah, 10, 11, 98. And make a search now. So select it and then click on add lines to uh, add lines and edit shipment. You know, add it and then edit the shipment also. So 10, 11, 98. So now we'll not perform a ship confirmation. So click on ship confirmation. Now it will not give any error. And there's a warning only for the weight and volume. Fine, doesn't matter. And that is okay. So click on this. <sighs> so it's now done fine. Both are shipped together. Now, now the concurrent of what uh, your send ship and advice will be running now. So once when it is it's completed, uh, you will be able to see the main lines are getting progress now. Send ship and advice is responsible for interfacing the shipping execution to order entry actually. So what are the tools now? And then go there. So you go to the schedule to process. <clears throat> And then have a look at it. So send ship on the is in the wait status. So once when it runs, you'll now see the order entry coming up. And now go there and then refresh the line. It's awaiting shipping operation, not started. So once when it is shipped, the third line will not start. So the third line will start because all of them are clubbed together. So after shipping only, you wanted the external warranty to be interfaced to a year actually. So click on refresh. So it is not shipped and then now it will not start. And then they will also go to awaiting billing and then this also will not go to awaiting. Thank you, Contra Fresh. So all of them will be going to awaiting billing one by one. So since you have put everything on a ship set, fine. so uh, it has to go ahead on this. Everything will be going to awaiting billing. You know, ship, ship now started. So go there and how to correct. Now, all the three lines have gone to awaiting shipping, awaiting billing. So now, if you close the sales order, you will now be able to see what your yeah, invoice is getting generated. So this way it works. So we can now use the ship set. Only thing is what? Uh, you have to uh, wait for this thing. Now, fine. Uh, you have to make the header. It is going to yes now. <clears throat> Now, one of my students has given me an extension now. Right? So it now gone to awaiting billing. So this activity is completed actually. Uh, now, what he says is that uh, whenever you do it, whenever on a sales order, uh, I mean, you create a sales order, uh, in the header level, uh, it comes as known. If you click on the great sales order. <clears throat> He's also not fully aware of it, so he gave me. <clears throat> we'll now see whether it works. He is asking me to write, run an extension. Fine. Twenty one. Let's say uh, twenty. Is it? So is the keyboard and mouse actually can I add now? So once when you add it at the header level, if you go and then see, you click on it. Here by default, the ship lines together is no. He is saying that if you run that extension by default, it will be yes. Actually, we will not try that now. I give a cancel. I am not adding. It. So he has given me an extension actually. Now go there and then try that. So here on the fifth one, I have one uh, ship set extension. Open it up. So it says very simple now. Fine, you know, picking up some information from this place. String ship set. If the header dot get attribute ship set flag, yeah, very good. And then if it's going to be no, he is setting it to yes section. Looks like very simple now. Fine. Let us now try to run the extension. I'm not on the extension at all. Fine. Now go on there. Now go there. We will not try to run the extension. So go to the setup and manual. <coughs> we'll not jointly learn together now. So go to the search. Manage percentage. Order percentage. The extension. So manage order management extensions. Manage order management extensions. So go there. Right. On start of submission request, on the end of submission request, I will now write down on start now. On save, we'll now go on on save. I click on on save. There's an on save is there. So we'll not write, write the extension. Thank you. Upon saving it, it will be done. Then create new. I will not create a new one. Thank you. On saving it, it will now fire actually. So name is what? Uh, set to yes. Putting it up, I will not paste this. Paste this code now. What is this? I have not taken a copy of it. So go to the Word file. I will not take a copy of it, and then we will not paste it. It is not pasted. 
So this is also I not put them in the description. So go down. Uh, validation message is not coming. Let us not try to validate it. So click on validate. Validate it. So validation successful is not saved. That means go again. Right? So click on save now. And that's it. And click on save and close. I think this is complete now. Right? So click on save and close. It is not done. And now active also. Let us now create a sales order than sales. So we'll now go there. We will now create a sales order than sales. <clears throat> we go there. We go to the what? Uh, uh, manager orders. And then let us now create a sales order. So an extension has been created on save it as to fire actually. And let us now save this. We'll go to this place. And then it is for one T1. Custom. So let us say one T1. 20 is the one you have <laughs> So it's a keyboard and mouse fan click on add. So I added it. If you go to the header level one now, it is now no no. So let us give a save, it has to become yes. Upon saving, no save it becomes yes or no. I'm now saving it actually. Ship lines together. Yes, it has become yes now. Beautiful. <laughs> so we were successful on our first uh, extension actually. Okay, right. that is it. So it will not become mess. That's fine. There's no need for us to make a change on this one. But beautiful. So likewise, what happens that whenever I find anything new extension, new on the extensions, I will not teach you also. Right? So by the now, so we are now, uh, what happens that, uh, learned about how to put the different lines on a ship set. And then uh, afterwards, what happens that we are able to see one extension also. Great. Bye for now.